If I told you that from the comfort of your own home in Ventura County, California, right from your Android or your iPhone, I mean, I'm an Android guy. Most of you guys are iPhone guys, but whatever. That's not what the show's about. Right from the comfort of your Android or your iPhone, probably in your underwear with Cheeto dust on your face, you can buy a cash flow producing triplex and only need to spend about $30,000, right? $30,000, and you're the owner of a triplex that produces a passive income. All this in Ventura County. And we're going to talk about that right now. Don't don't jump off the video because you think this is clickbait or puff or this or that. No, 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 no. We're going to get into how the details work on a line-by-line -line basis. Every dollar going in and going out is going to be discussed right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am James Wise, and this is Holton Wise TV. This is where we help investors learn about real estate, do real estate deals, provide real estate services, right? Today's show, this is your show. This is the show for you, right? The MLS Search and Analysis Show. We have many shows on Holton Wise TV, but this show is where I work with investors one-on-one. -on -one. And today we're working with my dude Rafa, truck driver from Ventura County, California, married to a lovely woman who is a teacher. And I like you guys because you guys are as blue-collar as it gets, right? Those are two great, highly respectable blue-collar jobs. As a matter of fact, my uh, father and grandfather, both truck drivers. Now... I talked at the beginning of the show, Rafa, about doing a deal with a triplex, and you only need to spend 30 k Now, you guys having those solid blue-collar jobs is great. You could absolutely do this deal, but the elephant in the room, right, with everybody else out there that's watching your show when this finally goes live on Holton Wise TV, they're wiping that Cheeto dust off their face. They're like, yeah, what? You can't get a little triplex in Ventura County for that price. Ventura County is expensive, right? I get it. It is, man. It's Cali, baby. That sun, that beautiful sun, sunny weather, yeah, it comes with a price tag, a big price tag, right? So what do blue-collar people like you who are trying to make their way in real estate do? They go to people like me, and they invest in the markets where it makes sense, right? Live where you want. Live in Ventura County, man. Get that beautiful, sunny weather. But don't buy overpriced real estate that you can't afford. You can get into the game in other places, and people like me help you do so, right? So we're going to focus on an Ohio property that I will handle for you. My team will do everything on the ground, property management, construction, maintenance. You guys just chill in California, right? You're only going to need about 30 k to do this deal. And I've got a lot of info on this deal because I actually was working with another one of my investors to do said deal. Put it under contract for 115 grand, got the inspection report. He chose to go another direction. Fine, no harm, no foul. I'm here to help put you guys uh, in position to buy the properties you want. Not every property I present is going to work for you, uh, but it might work for somebody else. Okay, I believe this property will work for you even though it didn't work for him. And best of all, I don't even think we have to pay 115 That's what he had it under contract for. When I email this video to you, I'm going to include the inspection report for your review. And then I believe we could take that, go back to the seller, like, hey, we know the last deal fell apart. We'll pay 110 No questions asked. We've already reviewed the inspection report. That's what I think you should do. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is leave you with my original analysis of the property and, of course, I will email that report to you, and you guys let me know what you want to do. Now, really quick, before we go to a break and get into all that, everyone else who's watching this show, the Cheeto dust on your face there, this property, 518 Lake, don't call Holton Wise trying to buy it. I sent this to Rafa privately, okay? I released this on Holton Wise TV publicly after the deal's gone. So if you want to work with my team one-on-one -on -one to invest in Ohio, invest in cheap cash flow properties, even though you're living in expensive locations like Ventura County, uh, you can click the show notes below uh, to book a free call with my team or just shoot us an email here and include your phone number. So let's go to a quick break. Then I'll leave you with that analysis. And you let me know what you want to do, Rafa. Please. I think it's too big. 
No, I think it'll shrink in the water. Welcome back, folks. This, this is what you're paying for. Let me stretch. Let me get a little, uh, a little, little stretch in there, you know, because this, this is where we roll up our sleeves and we see how the sausage is made, right? Any jerk off on the internet can uh, say, hey, buy properties out here in the Cleveland market because they're cheaper, right? Anybody could do that, but... Just because it's cheap doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make money, right? It is my goal to try to mitigate your risks of money loss as much as possible. So I want to give you all the information I possibly can so you can make an appropriate, informed investment decision, right? I understand uh, the Cleveland market is new to you. That's why I'm here, right? I have sold over $200 million worth of real estate run the largest scattered site rental portfolio of its kind, right? We're the one-stop shop for investors, okay? One-stop shop. Starts here, due diligence process, identifying properties that I think will make sense, right? Then after the sale, my team, we handle the property management. We do insurance, right? We do insurance everywhere in Ohio, right? So if you are watching this show right now and you have a rental property anywhere in Ohio, I can almost guarantee you I could save you money on your premium, right? Uh, reach out to us. We'll give you a uh, no obligation quote because all we do is landlord policies, right? So, like, don't ask us for a quote on your boat or your car. We ain't in that game, right? Just rental properties. Now, insurance, check. Property management, check. Maintenance, check. Renovations, check. Landscaping, check. But back to where it all begins, right? Due diligence, understanding what you're getting, okay? Unbiased assessments. This is not my house. I don't own this house. The seller hasn't hired me to sell this house to you. You have hired me to break it down, see if it will fit your investment goals. So that's what we're going to do. 518 Lake Ave, Elyria, 44035. Been on the market for 23 days. The price, $122,500. I like this property quite a bit but i don't like the price we only have two photos that is unfortunate but it is par for the course when you're investing in real estate folks tenant occupied uh, properties notoriously difficult to get inside to get photos but i will say i do believe the listing agent and the seller were a little lazy on this one because it's occupied by two tenants but it is actually a triplex there is a third teeny tiny unit above the garage it's like 300 square feet something like that a little one one uh it's vacant so i don't know why they didn't give us pictures so i don't know what's going on with that we'll have to figure that out um as we go further down the due diligence process i'm assuming it's going to need a little bit of repair uh probably nothing major i'm sure you're doing just like a quick turn right but it's kind of irrelevant because it's almost priced in like free you're really not paying for that unit right now 122.5 is what they're asking i don't think we need to pay 122.5 i think the appropriate price here is going to be 115 k now if we're getting like just a standard duplex out here like dude we're probably looking at like 100 k for this because uh each e each of the units in the duplex has three beds one bath right and those are going to generate huge rents 850 a month okay and then it's almost like we're getting that third unit for free right like 15 k is basically all i'm really adding on to that is what i think we need to pay for it right and that one after we fresh it up we'll get about 550 right so market rents on this sucker 2250 or 27 k for the year right but this is what uh, different rates, Holton Wise, Holton Wise TV, James Wise, whatever you want to call it, right? Whatever you want to call me in this service, what we do here. This is where it differentiates us from like other turnkey providers, right? I'm not going to just tell you, oh, you're going to make 27 k a year. That's bang and let's do the deal. No, there's costs associated, right? So if you break that down, right, this is the chart. Show you your fixed and variable expense performance estimates, folks, of the 27 k you're really only going to be making a profit of about 13,820, right? And then if we get it at my desired price point, 115k, you put down 32, bank kicks in 86, right? That projects out to a 29.4% cash on cash return. Sounds sweet. We're not done though, right? Let's get back to some other real world things we need to discuss, right? That 29.4% return would be if we can get the existing two tenants up to market rent, if we could get a third tenant in that garage unit, garage apartment unit without any renovation. I don't 
think that uh, either of those are impossible, but I don't think either of those scenarios are likely. Here's what we have, but this is actually pretty freaking sweet. Uh, the two tenants in the duplex are actually super long-term tenants. One tenant has been there for 22 years, and the other for 10. Their rents are 595 and five and a quarter. I tell you this, I'd rather have a tenant in the property for 22 years at 595 uh, than get market rent and change my tenants every couple of years. You will make more money with the 22-year tenant because where you really lose your booty in this business is turning units over all the time. So what we don't want to do is immediately go to 850 because we don't want to lose those super consistent tenants. Folks, 22-year tenants are not common. Do not anticipate buying a property like this in the Cleveland market in what I would call a blue-collar area, like a C-grade area, CB area. Do not anticipate buying something similar to this and getting a 22 and a 10-year tenant. That is an amazing run. You want to do whatever you can to keep those tenants. So what I like to do in situations like this is keep their rent the same for the first year and then slowly bump it up. Right. The goal should be to eventually get them at or around market rent without a turnover because dude they've been there 22 years bro like 22 years like if you think you're just gonna sweep up when they leave and the next tenant's gonna come and pay 850 you're out of your mind right you gotta do a full turn right walls carpet uh new fixtures the kitchen and the bath the whole shebang right you're looking at at least 10k right so you want to try to keep them in there right so it's going to take us a while to get up to those market rents. And then, of course, at the inspection, we'll have to figure out what's uh, the situation with that little garage unit. But again, it's almost a freebie, really. I'm only putting a $15,000 value on it because if we were getting a duplex here, 3131, we'd probably have to pay 100 for it anyway, right? So uh, if the garage unit was all jacked up, I mean, you could honestly just not do anything with it and just rock this as a duplex, right? It makes cash uh, with just the two tenants, right? So all in all, Super solid deal, right? I like where it's at. Uh, the next step, of course, is to put in an offer and then uh, go through the home inspection process, right? Some things you should know. We are not going to be anticipating brand new roof, furnace, or hot water tanks, right? I know people do the turnkey investing and they think they're going to get properties with those new stuff. Now, that's not how it works in the real world, right? Like maybe a turnkey provider that just buys foreclosures, renovates everything, and sells it to you, but they're selling it to you at a premium. If you're trying to buy stuff at or below market value, fair market value stuff, arm's length transaction properties, we're trying to beat this seller up, get a, a nice little discount. What is that, 7500 off of what they're asking for? In the real world, landlords don't do that kind of stuff, right? Think about it. A roof, it's like a $7,000 roof. They last about 30 years. Let's say this roof's 22 years old. Why in the hell would the landlord... Uh, pay seven grand to replace the roof when he's probably going to get eight years out of it, right? Uh, furnaces cost three G's, last about 30 years. Hot water tanks cost about a G, last about 15 years, right? So you're going to get properties like this uh, with these mechanicals uh, in varying age cycles, usually towards the end of their life cycle is what's common, right? That's why on your chart, let's pull that chart back up. As you can see, the capital expenditures I have you saving 1350 a year, right? You're not actually spending that, but I told you your net operating income estimates only 13,820. Let's say you don't have to do furnaces, roof or hot water tanks for the next 5 years, right? You would have 1350 for 5 years, right, in your pocket, right? It's not like you're actually spending that, but I don't let you guys believe that that is pure cash flow because I know eventually the $7,000 bills coming, the $3,000 bills coming, the $1,000 bills coming, okay? Another thing why we're into the chart Repairs and maintenance, thirteen fifty, right? You know where you spend almost all of your repairs and maintenance money? Turnovers, right? This property happens to have a twenty-two year tenant and a ten year tenant, right? So fucking think about that, right? If you had thirteen fifty a year times twenty two years, that's an extra thirty grand, twenty nine thousand seven hundred dollars of repairs and maintenance you're likely not spending, right? That we're budgeting for, right? Think about that. That's why your 22-year tenants, even though they're paying a little under market rent, that's why you should focus on them versus like hitting your specific uh, metrics, right? Real estate, yes, it's a number of business, but it's also a people business, and you got to play the hand you're dealt, right, and uh, make moves based on that, right? But all told, I think this is a super awesome investment, and I'm super high on Elyria right now. Uh, it's west of Cleveland, and I think we get a lot better deals in Elyria because the national folks are, like, just hammering, Cleveland, 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 right? You see all these articles like, what's the best turnkey rental market? And they say Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. But people out of state, they don't ever realize that there's, like, all these other uh, – uh, cities and suburbs around Cleveland. Greater Cleveland area has like two or three million people in it. 
only like 350 or 60,000 of them live in the city of Cleveland, right? So there's a lot of fucking housing outside of the Cleveland city walls that a lot of people aren't paying attention to. And I also believe the government in Elyria is easier to deal with, more landlord friendly than the government in Cleveland, right? Like in whole at whole wise, we deal with like, I don't know, 30 different municipalities, right? Elyria is one of the most landlord friendly of them in the entire Cleveland market. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.